Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect up your Nintendo Switch Joy-Con controllers onto your Windows machine so you can use it on the RPCS3 emulator which is a PlayStation 3 emulator. So let me show you the controllers right now, you should be seeing these two, so the left one and the right one, could be any color, it doesn't have to be the corresponding colors. You do need Bluetooth because that's the only way of connecting these controllers and your laptop might be built in, probably does if you got a laptop, if it's a computer desktop then it may not you may need a cheap bluetooth dongle which you can get off amazon or ebay okay so you were actually going to connect both of them because in older versions of the software better joy for cemu you could only connect one so there was issues but the new early build which works well I've tested it allows you to connect both which is fantastic so what you want to do is connect both of these up first so go to your Bluetooth settings and you know whatever the Bluetooth settings look like you want to press this button here oh I'm not even pressing it one second yeah I'm pressing it now there we go I wasn't pressing it now I wasn't quite getting there okay so click add Bluetooth for the device click Bluetooth uh, left there we go and it's just detecting the right one because I've just previously connected it as well. But I'll show you how to connect that one. Basically the same process. Okay, let me disconnect that. I'm just going to reconnect my Bluetooth into a separate port on the computer because port that I've got it in, I've had issues earlier in the day. And let me plug the Bluetooth dongle in the right way. So let's try this again. So add Bluetooth, put this into pairing mode. goes in pairing mode click on bluetooth select left one when it appears it'll just say joy con with l in brackets which indicates it's the left one okay so input there we go for some reason it's not picking me up as Joy-Con, there we go, it's picked it up right there, so that was weird. Okay, so it'll appear like here in a second. Let's do the same with the right controller. So click add Bluetooth. I know it's still in doing the light flashing, we'll fix that in a moment. So we're gonna put this into pairing mode. And we wanna pair the right one up when he appears. So as you can see, the left one has appeared now. Probably won't be that long for you. For some reason, I'll find when I'm recording you know the connection stuff is a lot slower uh, i have no idea why well, i don't know what obs is doing in the background that's interfering with bluetooth potentially or something that's interfering with connection otherwise that it appears like that but yeah you just wait patiently so we just got to wait for the right one to appear should appear as joy con you know bracket r for right if it doesn't it might just appear as input like it did before but it got detected as l for left so this is still in pairing mode, so I've just got to wait patiently for this to appear. Hey, that's not the one because it will actually have a game controller logo <laughs> still hasn't appeared I see this is actually turned off now uh, put this back in the sync mode there we go so there we go so like I said you shouldn't have that issue for some reason when I record it's a little buggy for some reason you shouldn't have that problem okay so they're connecting now I'll minimize that I shouldn't really need it anymore 
So if you just open up the setup USB game controllers, we've got wireless gamepad detected here, which is all well and good, but it's not detecting any of the buttons and we can't use this in its current state. So what we need to do is make them into Xbox controllers or into a Xbox controller. So Google better joy for CEMU and go to the GitHub link. I'll provide a link to this in the description and go to releases. If version six or newer is here, fine, fantastic download. That downloads x64 for 64 bit and x86 for 32 bit. But if it isn't, then go down here and just get the nightly build. Same thing, 64 bit or 32 bit. You know, I found it's working great. And this has a lot of new features, but one of the big ones is that you can use both controllers and make it like it's the left half and the right half of the Xbox controller. Otherwise, you could only use it as one and you were limited with the amount of buttons. And this is valid for any sort of emulator. So I'm gonna click 64 bit. And then you open a page like this, similar for 32 bit, just click this download button and you just gotta wait patiently and while it's basically you know it, it zips it up and it sends over all this into a zip file i'm gonna close this down because it can take a few you know a little bit of time but it basically will start downloading so let me close this down but if you wait patiently this will download okay i've already got it downloaded so go to your download location you want to right click extract all go to extract and you want to install these drivers so right click it run as administrator and a lower window will pop up go to more info run anyway then click yes and as you can see it's telling you if you do want to uninstall the drivers you can uninstall them by using that option right there okay so almost done you'll say okay done so there we go press any key and now let's open these up so if we remember if I open up the game controllers again so nothing is appearing in here that is fine go to better joy for CEMU run anyway make sure passive scan is on and there we go. controllers are disconnected for some reason Again, I think it's just literally my Bluetooth dongle. I've had trouble with this Bluetooth dongle before. I do need a better one. So now I'm plugging it in onto, into a different port now. Okay, so it should just automatically detect it. Let's try that. Should I need to do that? No. Okay, it's detected the one. We wanted to detect this one as well. There we go, it's detected both of them right there. But uh, it's actually flipped them over, which is not what we want. So if I close this down, let me reopen it. There we go, it's all right now. If we go here, ignore these, these may disappear, but this is the one that we're interested in. If we go to properties, as you can see, they have been mapped to port one. And if I move these around, as you can see, all the keys are now being detected. So that is great. And we got these for start and select. These do not get detected because these are extra keys that we don't actually need for our PS3 controller or Xbox 360 controller as essentially it's mapped it, but that has the same amount of buttons. So what you want to do now is actually just open up your RPCS3 emulator. So open this up. Let's sip our green tea. Okay, so checking for updates or I'll do the update afterwards go to pads make sure x input is selected you'll probably have keyboard selected by default so 
go to X import and as you can see it's detected that this has been set up and if you look at the low analog sticks down here toward the bottom right move this up a second so you can see it better when I move this as you can see it is detecting them and you can also enable and disable vibration these controllers do not have the smaller vibration so it's only the one type you can add a profile so if you remap the keys you can have multiple profiles depending on the game maybe on one game you want the d-pad to be on the analog stick or maybe the face button to be on the analog stick you can do whatever you want and if you want to remap one of these feel free to so even though this says y and y is over here remember on an xbox controller let me show you this is an xbox one controller but the layout is still the same if you look it says y there so that's what is essentially mapped it as I'll put this to the side and if i press that you know i could remap here this which would map here as x you know the you know the xbox x input but i'm just going to go back to that oh actually i'll just do restore before but you can override any of these controls so you can remap them however you want okay so click save and let me show you it working so go to, i'm going to launch on minecraft launch on minecraft instead of the other games because it runs pretty well while i'm recording and it has green compatibility it is let me show you right there so yeah just let's wait patiently for this game to load up don't turn the volume down so as you can see we are using this now to play minecraft but again it could be any ps3 game emulated on the rpcs3 emulator for windows So once we get in the game you'll see that we can use all the buttons so you, you could have one of those you know little controller you know docks that you can plug this into and hold it a lot as if it's just one controller instead of two different ones where you're moving around i actually prefer it in this mode i prefer you know i can have one controller like this one like this but again you know that works as well as you can see this is now working uh, and let's do some mining and there we go so that's it so that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message you should have had the connection issues that i was having i tried it before recording the video it worked fine sometimes like i said i have issues with my bluetooth dongle when i'm recording so you shouldn't have those issues it should literally just appear and you should be able to connect them and that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video